Hey everyone, it's the very first Toon Works movie commentary. Oh god. Um we've actually done this a quite a number of times on, on our on my podcast, the Legendary Frogcast, but this is the first one that we're doing all together as a Toon Works team. Oh. Um, yeah. Well, some of us. Well, large majority of us. <laughs> and um our first movie is gonna be The Fifth Element, which is one of Mark's favorite movies. It's on my top ten list of favorites. I've drawn inspiration from it. I love this movie. Yeah. And we're watching the Netflix version, so we're just going to go to the very start of the Netflix you know, stream and just press play. So what are you going to do if you want to watch along with us? Um, I'm not sure where this would be on the DVD, but um, we probably should have. The, 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 total, the total time for The Fifth Element on Netflix is 2 hours, 5 minutes, and 50 seconds. Yeah, this... Uh, <coughs> Netflix stream starts right when the Columbia the Columbia logo appears. So start it then, and we're gonna go one two three, and we're all gonna press play and watch one of the new best most, science one of the most unique sci fi movies <laughs> come out. That's what I'll call it. I actually quite like this movie, but it's a great movie. I haven't seen yeah. it in a long time. Me neither. So we're gonna do one two three. Where are you guys? Wait 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 wait. We're gonna do three two one go. Okay, we'll do that. Three two one. Go. Three two one. Go. Dun, da, 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 year was this? 1995. This was 90. I think it was 95. It said so on the thing, but I wasn't paying attention. It was oh. before Columbia merged with TriStar, apparently. Yeah. It was before good graphics. <laughs> graphics. Look at actually, those clouds. Those are I good think graphics. these. Um, I think these. The CGI in this movie actually holds up pretty well. It's it's a little low textured, but otherwise, it, it. I think it holds up fine. Well, I'll be the judge of that. Isn't this movie like really popular in like France or something? It this, is a French, pro- it was a French this production. Is, this is a French production, wasn't it? A film by Luc Besson, who also did um, uh, Lay on the Professional. So, so this is a foreign movie, technically. Right? Yeah, I think it was. Well, it's a Columbia movie. I remember when this came out. My uh, my parents didn't let me watch it. I saw this in the theater. It's one of the best things uh, ever. They thought it was weird. Uh, my my family's weird. Oh, Ian Holm was in it. We don't want to give Casey any ideas. <laughs> Mila Jovovich. Jovovich. So that she was married to Luke Besson at this time. Yay, Chris Tucker. Mila Jovovich. <laughs> Mila Jovovich and um, um, Luke Besson both came up with a divine language that she speaks in the movie. Oh. And uh, they made it up, and they could actually sp- apparently speak uh, on set in this language to each other. She Which wants to crazy. marry the uh, Resident Evil director, <laughs> didn't she? I don't know, but I'm so sorry for this her. This is a really scary opening. Like, uh... Like, like so, like, what uh, What was that first shot? It was just, like, asteroids flying at us. It was all of the elements. <laughs> oh. Except for, yeah. every, except for all of them besides Earth. Except for the fifth element. We're still have to find oh. that one. I don't know what the fifth element's gonna be. I bet uh. it's love. No. <laughs> it's <What>? friendship. <laughs> friendship is the fifth element. <clears throat> it's plasma. The fifth element it was a crappy movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. I hate you. I, I, I like I like I like uh space. You know, I mean I don't know. Space is pretty good. Space. We think about space oh, a lot. Like oh god! It's an astrobo. Oh we we we're watching the space balls. <laughs> <laughs> we break for no That is an astrobo. <laughs> There's a no. there's a spaceship cruise ship in this, isn't there? Yes, Lost in Paradise. But we'll get to that later, all Casey. All right, all right, whatever. <laughs> ah! Was that the fifth element? No, no. <laughs> oh, that, is that the fifth element? Is that, no. the, is that, the, is that Donkey the fifth element? <laughs> it's the fifth, fourth and a half element. Is this movie racist? No, no, this is 1914. Everybody was racist back then, and it was okay. <laughs> That makes it okay. It, it's the British which were racist. It's the one time the Americans weren't super, super racist. The British were the worst. <laughs> we're sorry, Brits, but you did kind of screw up a lot of the... Uh, Is uh, uh, R2-D2 in, in the um, hieroglyphics there? No, oh. unfortunately. Oh, he should, he should have been. <coughs> Aziz. Oh, I bet that's really hot. Aziz. Light. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is like marking how many times he has to say that in a day. Well, just just get a board. 
<laughs> yeah, like prop it up against the, prop it up against the wall. <laughs> no, they're upside down. It's they're, making, they're making a human pyramid. The, the, the human pyramid centipede. He's drawing a boat. Subtitles. Forgot about that. Now I know what they're saying. I'm Here trying to pay attention. What is he? <laughs> I love how the movie starts off where it's like a futuristic movie and it's in space and a spaceship goes by. Boom! 1914. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Creepy old guy. It's, it's, it's Obi Wan Kenobi, that's except a lot creepier. <laughs> I couldn't think of his name. For ancient hieroglyphics, those look really clean and freshly oh, made. Are... That's because uh, that's a, because like they're divine. Made them. Uh-huh. They're divine. Oh, Ooh, a fifth element. It's um, dude from Diablo. Um, <laughs> oh, it is. Deckard Cain. Deckard Cain. What a treasure there in that fifth element. In that fifth element. <laughs> <laughs> um. Now, I remember when this came out, I kept, I was in, like, high school, so that pardons me for this. I kept making these really bad jokes. It was like, the fifth element, why, that's like Robin Nanobi um, or whatever. He's got, like, a <laughs> periodic table of elements. <laughs> and I'm like, You're trying I'm... to sound smart. <laughs> oh, was the water poisoned? I wasn't paying attention. He, yeah, he put, he put I was poison too busy water. making a dumb joke. Like always. But up, up. Oh, don't drink it. No. Take that cage, I've poisoned your wine! <laughs> Don't, nope, nope, it's a trap! It's a trap! Wait a second. <laughs> no, he, some boy got but, that water! He tricked across the desert for like three days just to bring you a his, sack of water. That was his water. only plan. <laughs> yeah, there's a devil on it. That's funny. How come he wants to kill him? Because he's about to find out a secret. Is there a dinosaur on there? No. Like Let's talk about that guy because he's super old. <laughs> <laughs> Stop trying to make jokes, Mark. It's a You're, serious movie about. about was, was, it's, was, it's was he gonna kill the? Was he gonna kill the children day. now too? The children now know that the aliens are coming. Do they have right. to kill him them too? <laughs> I guess he would. Except I never thought about that. Day. These lights! Oh Got my gosh. Oh, so yeah. that spaceship was in 1914. Yeah. <laughs> well, they had spaceships back then? Yeah. Oh, well, Egypt did. So is yeah. this... I don't know. That, that's the leg. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> damn big. <laughs> it's, it's, a, big a, it's, a, it's the first Reaper. <laughs> Are we dead. noticing any shapes yet, people? Circles. Circles. Inside of squares. Okay, it's not quite yet. But now we're going to start seeing the, the shapes. More circles. No, wait, never mind. <laughs> Why is everything wet in space? God. That's a good point, actually. <laughs> Why is it that in this age of filmmaking, everything that was in space was soaking wet? They did the same thing in Alien. <laughs> and aliens reflection, and... Reflections actually make things more dramatic looking. That's really the reason why. Those That's lights why it... are in very awkward places. <laughs> but I... Yeah, but I mean, like, in, like, Aliens and everything else, everything had to be, like, slimy and, and wet all the time and dripping. It's that direction. Art direction. Is he drawing them? Yeah, he's drawing oh. them naked. This is on the Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, I remember these. It looked these look <laughs> very strange, actually. I think they're just Aziz! Why is his nose bloody? What the fuck happened? <laughs> <laughs> this is from the time before CG was everywhere. <laughs> I have to say though, I much prefer like live what do you call them? Puppets e- or whatever. E- even Are when they're German? like really clunky <laughs> like this? <laughs> yeah, they look more realistic to me. They what have more. It? They have more um, character. There's a charm to it. It's like in um, in a Stargate had stuff like this too. I mean, I imagine yeah. that um, that they're inside of like suits of armor or something, and and it yeah. you know, and 
it moves around clunky, and that's why. Yeah, it works. Yeah. And they have keys in their fingers. You didn't even turn the key. How did no one discover that? It was behind the wall. Did they, like, break through the wall? Uh, This pyramid's slightly bigger on this side than on the inside. That's weird. Maybe (laughs) we should knock this down. Like, that's what I would do. (laughs) I wasn't wearing any pants. (laughs) <laughs> that see, was... they're, see, see, they're just like big fat robots. Yeah, no. I mean, I don't think they had to make them that way. They made them that way on purpose. They're circular. Oh, well, triangular. They're triangular? They're big old triangles. You'll see. Like, okay, so like, again, how did no one discover this? It's even open to the air. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> the elements. Stone. <laughs> I can, but I can't extend my arm very well. <laughs> I broke one. <laughs> Do we have another one? <laughs> yeah, well, I bet of, those guys are. Of, uh... oh, go I bet, ahead. I bet those guys are really delicate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They went for the nice leather silk case. Those look like the um the symbols from Avatar. No, the symbols from Avatar look like this because this was made in ninety the mid nineties. Oh, this is in 1914. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was gonna say. Speaking of the animatronics and stuff like that, and puppets and whatever, uh, apparently Farscape is gonna get a movie. And Farscape was the sci-fi series that um huh. was produced, co-produced by um Jim Henson. Jim Henson uh, yeah. production yeah. company, and they actually had Muppets as part of the thing. I mean, it's just like with with CGI. I mean, these days everything's CGI, and you immediately no, it's fake. Well, yeah, and I mean, like, it'll look great, and it can it can look great, and yeah. com- and completely believable in a lot of cases. Like, there's a lot of cases where I'll look at an image and be like, I didn't even know that that was computerized. Yeah. But when something is real, it makes me go like, oh, wow, how do they do that? That's an actual thing they built. Yeah. That's incredible, you know, like, and it, it adds more to that movie magic for me, you know? Yeah, it's it's about, it's like a magic trick. You, you know it's not real, but you don't know how they did it. And yeah, that, exactly. that makes you, if you know it's all CGI, then you know it's fake. And you just you, know that some guy on a computer, you know, just typed yeah. up some stuff. And in this one, we know it's a, a guy in a suit, but it still looks really good. It, it makes me think he's there. I don't well, mind. I have to there. appreciate movies like um, The Winter Soldier that just came out. Obviously, there's a lot of computer-generated stuff in that movie, but oh, yeah. there's a lot of practical effects, too. Like, a lot of the stunts <laughs> and, like, car chases and all that stuff were done, like, practically. And yeah. it, it definitely shows because it does look like a computer like a video game, you know? Yeah, yeah. Can, can he open it back up after it closes? Or is this like Hurry, a safety it's mechanism? closing. Yeah. I forget. It's were just those... his arm, don't worry. <laughs> were those robots good guys? I think they were, right? Yeah, they're, they're yeah. good guys. They, they, they wanted to protect it because war is coming. Yeah, we weren't paying any attention. They abducted the children! And the camels. <laughs> did, did they? The children did just mysteriously go missing. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like a toothbrush, like a very elaborate toothbrush. <laughs> well, that's how they hide it. And then it just Hi. goes. And then it just the robots goes, like, left to return to their home planet. And then this just goes like you know, <laughs> f- five thousand years later or whatever, and everyone's just <laughs> skeletons. What triangles inside of circles? Yeah, oh no! Those are the two shape motifs. Three hundred years later. So it's not actually quite. not quite three hundred years later, and we actually see the date very briefly. Um, when we first see Bruce Willis's character, yeah, but it's a nice, round, it's have a nice like a round number. Yeah. yeah, it's a nice round number, but they lied to us. You think we'll have this kind of technology three hundred years later from that date that it was? We have, te- we have technology like that now. Yeah, we we we've sent things to Jupiter. Yeah, not like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a model. We can send small things to Jupiter. I mean, we have Bruce Willis today. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Oh, it's that thing from the from the Green Lantern movie. Oh. You, you saw the Green Lantern movie? That's all, oh, that's all this thing is. <laughs> Parallax. <laughs> that's not a probe. That's the president. I actually... What? I actually what hate... I hate his performance in this movie because it's it's bad acting. I don't mind him as a character, and it is kind of funny, but his acting is just so bad. It's Devo. 
Devo hat. <laughs> French production team, so the costumes essentially are... You, well, we'll see later. <laughs> the costumes are just craziness? Yes. <laughs> why? So why is that one guy... Okay, so in that last shot, there's a dude at a control panel on the ship. Yeah. Right there, see him? Yeah. And he's like in this crazy suit. But he's like a robot. No, no one else is in a crazy suit. Why does he have to wear because one? Because they're officers, and that guy, all these guys are, you know, running the ship. Well, why do you wear crazy suits? To protect you from bullshit, right? So, what's gonna happen, like, like why, what's the purpose of having it if they don't need one? Oh, I forgot he was in this movie. Wait, what's, his, what's that actor's name? Why is there a Ian Holm? That's, okay, that's Ian Holm. You know, Sit down, Bilbo, ba- Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> oh, wait, should I not curse during <laughs> this? Because I guess I just did. Um, That's okay. Oh. No. Brings life, brings death. Look at all the purple. Because it's French. Why is there a Vulcan? <laughs> <was also> good. <laughs> Why is there a Vulcan there? There's more people in crazy suits on the sides. And they're just, like, looking into the walls. <laughs> That's it, the rebels are there. <laughs> they, have, like, <laughs> g- they have, like, gas lines attached to them. <laughs> It doesn't matter, it looks cool, shut up. I know it looks cool, but I'm just wondering <laughs> why it exists. <laughs> why is the White House purple? <laughs> yeah, the purple house. <laughs> well, this is in New York City. That's true, it's the new capital. 200 billion of my fellow citizens. <coughs> I love every single one. I, I just, I mean, I like the technology in movies and stuff. I'm just wondering what they're all doing, you know? Like, these guys are in rotating chairs inside of tubes. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Look at his gloves. Circle. Oh, is he, is he See, president? A circle of, in the background now. Is he president of America or president of Earth? Um, I think it's Earth. I could be wrong because he did say two hundred billion, so it must be Earth. It has to be Earth, yeah. Yeah, and they, I think they definitely. Well, it's a, it's a French speech. production. They're not going to make it like the <laughs> triangle. president of the States. Triangle. Yeah. Triangle. It doesn't. I this don't know was a great are. idea. <laughs> Just hold your horses. I'm about to. <laughs> they have the same technology, like the. It, uh... it, obviously, oh. we're making it grow bigger. We should <laughs> stop. Well. T forty one. So does triangles represent violence? Triangles are the good guys. You so know, maybe that guy that. isn't a great actor. You think because he's obviously French. No, this it, guy. Maybe he doesn't black. have a, a good American the president. Accent. The president. I forget who. Yeah. I forget who the who it is. I think I forget if he's like um like a musician or a rapper or something. But they got somebody who wasn't. A traditionally an actor, if I remember correctly. Oh my it says goodness. right here on the left, it will say what the date is. We have hey, a Bruce, shirtless Bruce Willis Bruce here. Bruce Willis looks like a baby. Jeez. <laughs> what? 20 <laughs> years ago. Yeah, he just, he's just so <laughs> old. No. He is a baby. It's like, you ever watch Die Hard? It's like, Bruce Willis, you're yeah. a baby. <laughs> here, here it is. What's, what's the date? Thir- 2263. Okay. So it's really 250 years. Look at all the colors! Well, yellow. There was blue outside. Yeah, it's outside. What? You trying to trying to keep clear? Oh, well, look at that cell phone. What? That phone has <laughs> buttons on it. What kind of ancient technology is yeah. this? <laughs> 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 Does he get like a new bed every day? <laughs> <laughs> Where'd all the old beds go? How do they, they just burn them. The furnace. <laughs> they uh, turn into food. He's like sweating as well. I wonder if it's really hot in that room. So he did wake up from a nightmare, so. Yeah, fake fish. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, this is great. I love all the little little touches in the technology in this room. Yeah. Just like the little itty bitty things that don't really do anything or mean anything, but are just there. It's this perfect little world, like universe. Yeah, just these little things. That was one of those stick-on lights that you just pressed it. <laughs> so in the future, you can get a new bed every day, but your fridge does yeah. not replenish itself. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 
I like I like that the magnetic the magnetic uh, coffee oh, it's pot. It's a magnetic coffee pot. Look at it's that. It's just it's a simple little thing. It's like what if you were living in this little small apartment in the gigantic city? It's like what would That's, you do? What if they actually built that? Like let's like so they could have a coffee pot that would stick, or do you think there's like a table under that? No, that was a magnetic. So yeah, he literally just had a mag- just stuck it to it casually. Yeah. In the actual filming, that's cool. Flushed in paradise. <laughs> oh God. I love Chris Tucker in this movie. That cat was like, "Who is this guy?" <laughs> Multipass. Was that? It? Oh, it's a, like a card, like a key card or something. <laughs> <laughs> the cat. Yeah, the cat's just hyper as <laughs> crap. See, his hat is a screenshot of the outside. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love that there's a little guy on the on the crosshair thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is exposition. He knows everything about everything, and he's unintimidated by things. <laughs> also, the guy like held that up to the door, the screenshot. So yeah, that's that, why like, it's on his head. He looked out the thing. Yeah. It's another little subtle thing that's hard to pick up. He's gangster. Yeah. <laughs> so He's is this gangster. one Bruce Willis still like to make movies? Is yeah, he, I think I, so. I don't think he does anymore. <laughs> Look at all the guns he's collected. Yeah, no, it's great. <laughs> Look at the costume. It's just crazy. I, forget. I love it. Yeah, it's 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 the costume designer is known for that stuff. I've looked I think I've looked this up before, but he, he does this outrageous stuff and they didn't and he's French, so they didn't hold back. <laughs> well, no, and it's the future again, so you can do whatever you want with fashion. <laughs> matter. Exactly, yeah. I mean like look at the nineties. There was no sense of fashion then. <laughs> well that was that was partially because they were so close to the eighties. I know. There's really not any sense of fashion now either. Every every generation yeah. we look back at it, and it's like that's hideous. But yeah, it's it's like Hunger Games. I really like the costume design on that too, just because it's all just so crazy. <laughs> I do want to point out that they've got a bunch of like uh, things hanging, hanging off of his uh, uh, dashboard. There is to give a sense of movement, uh, oh, horizontal movement, because it's shaking. They did the same thing in um in uh, uh, Alien to kind oh, of give. Sense. The big chains, like how do you have movement in uh, in, in the space? Still is shot. that you have, yeah, you have this little ominous movement. I'm There's seeing little... shapes, Mark. There's a Triangles. person. Triangle. It's a person. He's got a triangle shape. hat. He's got a round head. Now, can he just go over this? The planet's round. The stars are dots. <laughs> the, the engines are circles. Look, Sorry, I'm making fun of you, and I shouldn't be. It was like... <laughs> I will ruin every movie for you ever. You, well, it's fine. I already understand all your shape motifs. I just think it's funny how you point them out and everything. I have to. I can't not watch it. <laughs> no, it's the Ark of the Covenant. Yeah. Important story. So, stuff. what's the plot so far? I've not been following. <laughs> There's a um, place where a guy stands, and if good stands there, then yay. If bad stands there, then oh no. Oh, oh no. no. Mondo Shawan. I, 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 no I recognize that to... weird looking guy. The president? No, the other guy. The weird the guy with weird the hat. Guy. Luke, Luke Perry? The, that guy? Was that who? Oh, he you was? mean the, the army the army dude? Yeah, the guy who just has a unique looking face. Was that Dennis Hopper? I don't was know. that just I think that's else. who it was. Look, they they're not all there's no gravity, so they're on three different things. Yeah. Oh yeah, this movie randomly has that... aliens in it. <laughs> like, hey guys, we discovered aliens. Yeah. <laughs> Circle. Oh no. Oh, Mark. See, see, there's, Mark, yes. there's sound in space. It, it's not diegetic. <laughs> what does that mean? You know, this technically is there is sound in space. It just can't travel. <laughs> yeah. This is like, technically true. <laughs> It's an action movie. We're having a bad day! She's, oh. like, last, she's like, last time we came here, they didn't have laser beams. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's like, well, shit. <laughs> I just saw that cutaway. Act not. 
I mean, like, even alien costumes Brooke like Brooks that. Is like... changing her nail color with that thing. Huh. And that window has a light around it. Circle. No, I was going to say, um, the, the aliens, uh, like, they have, like, these ridiculous, like, the costumes, like, the animatronic costumes and stuff, yeah. you know. Uh, and people, I have, like, you know, friends and coworkers who are like, oh, that just looks terrible. But, I, again, I like that better than CGI aliens. I was like, Hellboy. Yeah, no, it's... Like, Hellboy is awesome because of that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, for whatever reason, to me, <coughs> it's more realistic. And I don't know if it's because, like, now, it, sometimes... it actually moves more clunky. And I feel like, like that's more lifelike, but I don't know. Yeah, sometimes they do a really, really good job with the CGI, like, um, Davy Jones in the... Yeah. And all his tentacles. That's fantastic. And, and Two-Face in the newer Batman movie. Um, or, or, like, uh... Like, some of the best use of CG is, like, in, in movies like The Avengers, if you ask me. Yeah. Yeah, well, because, like, there's so many uses of CG where it... I, I don't want to say it's over. Yeah, that guy right there, he looks weird. Den- I think it's Dennis Hopper. Is that, is that who he is? Oh. I think it is. 1996 Dennis Hopper. 200,000 memo groups. That's a lot. I think. Man, I'm a military guy, and I've got green eyes. What the? What they all got green eyes? What's going on? <laughs> Sounds like a freaking nature. Yeah, I just can't wait to meet him. Yellow. So many random little things. Like, why do they have the green eyes? That was, was they went in. They, it was like a black light, but I guess it's they're going into. It was to make that. It, it was just to like, make that that scene, the dialogue, more funny. But um, it could be like some sort of germ killing thing. Brian James is his name. Well, anyways, I was no, going to say about the, the alien costumes. I forgot what I was going to say about the alien <laughs> costumes. It's just, it's just we like, prat- we like practical um, costumes. Yeah, but I was just kind of explaining why. I mean, like, if you look at, like, a like a human being, like, the people in this as they talk and move and stuff, it's not like they're very fluid or, or whatever. You know, like, people aren't... Like, when you see, like, most CGI monsters and stuff, they, they're very, like... You know, a lot of their motions are, are very fluid and very... <coughs> I don't know, and, like, people don't move like that. You know, it's... One thing, um, like, the Hobbit got a lot of flack because the orcs are, like, a mixture of CG and people. Yeah. yeah. But, um, if you ask me, it makes them look more non-human-like. And, yes, there was a charm with the, you know, like, the orc makeup, and it was very impressive. But it's also cool seeing, like, actual, like, orc monsters, you know? Now, yeah, I mean... I always thought this was a, the arm of, um... Is this uh, building one of the person? aliens that were holding the box? But then it it makes the divine being, which is this. I, this is the only thing that's ever really confused me about the movie. Ah, oh, Twizzlers, awesome! Oh, oh, they're they're building the body. Yeah, but it's okay. So this is a part of the movie I've never really seen before. So like, um, what's the best part? Yeah, so they got that arm or whatever. Where, where, where'd they get that from? The beginning. That was that was one of the survivors from the crash, or that's one of the remains they got from the crash. And they they built like a human body out of it. Yeah, yeah it's like essentially, it's cloning basically. Yeah. Why did it make a human being and not like a? Yeah, that's what I was. Not just a weird asking. alien. <laughs> we'll get into that later. Because it needed to be a hot chick. Wait, is it chick? Well, yeah, it's Mila Jovovich. Vo- 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 it was a very flat chest in that. <laughs> oh, spoilers! <laughs> You've never watched this movie, I want to punch you. Except people that are bigger than me. Uh-oh, PG-13 nudity. Well, the, um... Well, no, the uh, PG-13 version, they actually have a, uh... Another, like, bar over the glass over where her... Yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they do. So I they got... Oh, censor. Oh, God. Yeah. Like on the DVD <laughs> version, or...? Well, just on like the TV, the TV edit, oh, TV, PG thirteen yeah. edit, yeah. Well, this is PG thirteen. Well, the PG edit then. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Triangle. Now, how do they get the one part around her crotch area? I mean, uh, I'm not even gonna ask it. So I they have notice. They have dyed <laughs> highlights, <laughs> or whatever. Yeah, why did her hair come out orange? <laughs> why not? Well, it's it's, because it's blonde and orange. And this was before, because he wanted to have all these people cosplay this character, because that's awesome. What? (laughs) (laughs) Ow! She's trying to communicate with us. (laughs) Go away. Oh, I can almost touch it. 
She's perfect. The, like the military man guy is just like amazed by this, and the guy's just like. <laughs> 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 Was that French? It's the divine language. This is the one they made up. So French. <laughs> You're waiting for that joke. <laughs> no, I just came up with it. <laughs> On the spot. Hey, that's what I do. It must be really hard to come up with a language. Yeah, the, and to learn how to speak it. <laughs> You could literally just replace every word with another word. No, they actually came up with this language, though. It's a very small language, but it's they yeah. actually did it. Now, if you look closely when she punches out the glass, you can actually see the part of the glass cut out. All right. Right after the cut. What? You'll see maybe maybe they moment. should have enhanced that with CG animation. Yeah, they should have. <laughs> oh, she's a... <laughs> yeah, there you're right, is. yeah. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Ah. Escape through the uh, foam uh, wall. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Wonder what the walls are actually made out of there, like Taco. on the set. You think oh, it's just like styrofoam? Probably styrofoam. Gold styrofoam, yeah. Especially since she does this thing. She's a perfect being. The being the why she have um, imperfect skin. Oh my oh, goodness! It was probably foil. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was that was very secure. <laughs> police! 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 <laughs> Oh, the giant spotlight armor. Yeah, armor. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> What's that spotlight armor? Oh, of course, like, this yeah. facility has gigantic uh, ducks. There's space vents. There's space vents. <laughs> they, they have to have that massive air vents to transport all of the air. <laughs> There's just so much of it. We need a scene in Wonders where they're trying to escape through the air vents, but they find out it's just a thin tube. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness! It's it's Coruscant. And she's from the and she's from 1916. So all of this is strange and unusual to her. <laughs> is she really? Is that a no? Thing? It's, uh, <coughs> it's when the movie started, 1914. Yeah. Oh, she's from 1914. Well, that's that's they were bringing back the the thing they took. Oh right. Why does right. she have the bright red hair then? You, you'll find out by the end of the movie. Oh my god, it's supposed to symbolize fire? Is that like, the is the fifth element her hair? <laughs> it's How do part they of it. fit in there? <laughs> yeah, look at them. You notice you don't see their, the bottom half of them. <laughs> <laughs> Does nobody see this lady? <laughs> this this was um a few years before Coruscant in episode one. Yeah. Oh, that's no, true. I, this really holds up pretty well. There's, I mean, some of the things are like, like I said, low textured, obviously fake. They look a little plasticky, but overall, yeah, you, the, you can it you can feels tell the composite well, yeah. for this stuff. So overall, I, it feels really good. Well, that's the difference with Coruscant. Again, it's just nothing but a giant CGI yeah. set where this has a but lot it, of practical stuff. You got like mixed a little, little it. fire, yeah. wavy fireness coming out of the bottom of the uh, the thing. And look, they've got hanging stuff too. Yeah. But but I mean like you know when you when you add in lots of little lifelike things to an environment yeah. that that's what makes it hold up is, is it feels like a real place. <laughs> that was like the perfect mugshot. <laughs> <laughs> well, she was just cloned, you fools. They didn't know. Didn't that. they know that? Cops. Oh, I guess they didn't know. Why are her hands black? Because she was. It's dirty. It's, the city's dirty. That's not much of a dive. <laughs> I'm going to pause to tell all of you that, even though you can clearly Whee! see it. Miss, miss. Oh shit, miss. No! Oh, is, is this um, is this uh, Bruce that Willis, one episode yeah. of Doctor Who where they're oh. all in the all in the uh, <laughs> they're all lost in the endless traffic gridlock? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you think those cars are CG or are they models? I think there's CG a lot of the like the for the big CG. scenes back. Um, this be a some, lot of, of CG. Are, this be a yeah, lot some, of CG for 1997 if they were all if it was all CG. Well, I don't know then, but because you, you can tell there's some compositing. It could be yeah, that. It could yeah. be model compositing. Some of them are, I think, are purely CG. Other ones, uh, yeah, some are probably CG. They do they do build. Um, <laughs> 
I'm sorry, I just love this movie. <laughs> It Every drives me nuts how the back of the neck of his shirt goes lower than the front. It's French. You ever notice that? Maybe put it on backwards. <laughs> big, big boom. Big boom. Big, big boom. How does she learn English? A little later. Bada boom. <laughs> ba, bada boom. Big bada boom. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> there's those cases where he like he just like says a couple words or lines and all of a sudden she goes English downloaded <laughs> <laughs> not quite but she gets there uh. and Bruce Willis just like you know who you talking to coppers <laughs> Open the blast doors! Open the blast doors! <laughs> Akta! Have a heart, Bruce Willis. <laughs> he was looking for the... He wanted the perfect woman. And that creature is perfect. They did say that earlier. I love the dialogue in this That's moment. true, yeah. <laughs> I just... I like how... It's realistic that he would just be like, Yeah, well, here's the cops. Sorry, you gotta yeah. go. He's got one point left of his license. It would, have been, it would have been really embarrassing if she started saying the numbers instead of the words. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like, you know, I like that about this scene, though, that, like, yeah. there's context to it. I feel like if this were, like, a modern-day Hollywood, you know, run-of-the-mill yeah. movie, it would have just been like, a hot girl, oh, God, the God, get you away. I don't know why these cops are chasing us. Goodness. Well, it's not necessarily a movie today. It's going to be like that. No, but I, I feel like that happens so A lesser times. movie. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. Sorry. Th- there's good movies today. That's not what I'm saying. It's just... If this were a movie today, it would be a sequel or a reboot. <laughs> <laughs> the I feel like that, they, 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 they claw them together. And um, it's just these little things. You have ten seconds to comply. It's kind of like, <laughs> it's kind of like what makes Waterworld interesting. Where yeah, they have all of the all the machines that uh, yeah, it's all the stuff, all the stuff that happens all over the place. Whee! Oh, this is cool. That's a good gimmick for a chase. Oh, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say like, oh, they're tethered together. They're gonna get a chase. Just, he just pulls the 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 license thing out of it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, now, interesting thing about this thing. The actor, that actor there is Mac McDonald. They're at a McDonald's. <laughs> that is the actor's name. He was also in Alien. Uh, had a small part in Alien as the guy who was head of the the uh, the place before the aliens started eating everybody. And he was also in Red Dwarf. He was the captain. So did McDonald's turn into Hooters in the future? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! He uh. did just not if this was a, if this was released today, people would, people would scold it for having product placement. That's yeah. true, yeah. Because nowadays yeah. it's like, what? There was a, there was an IHOP in Superman. Oh. <laughs> but since it's the future, it makes it funny, right? Yep. Yeah. I love the music track that they they picked for this too. This um Indian, kind of hip hoppy sounding thing. Hippity hoppity. English and bad English. Oh, love that line. What does he say? I only know two languages, English and bad English. So oh. so this is... <laughs> like, like, usually when you have a cab driver in movies, you know, it's like a stereotypical, like, Arab man or whatever. Yeah. But, you know, this is a, a New York cab driver. Yeah. And, and Hindus playing in the background. <laughs> Imagine if the whole movie he was just like, I'm driving here! I'm driving <laughs> here! Come on! I'm flying here! Oh, they sell trains. Oh my Ooh. god, there's like a train! Bada boom! <laughs> yes! It says 65 oh, trillion, like served. <laughs> For some reason, they cut that out of like the TV things. It never says um, 65 trillion served. I don't know why. 65 trillion served. Yeah. <laughs> what does it say that on the car? It said that on the, on the train cars, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. How do you detect an attack? Yeah, why does a cab have software to detect attacks? <laughs> Aren't they afraid that that's going to hit other people? 
Those bullets have to fall to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how high up they are. You never really see the ground. Well, they're, yeah, they're about pretty to high right now. Yeah. It's a, it's a city full of skyscrapers. It's a skitty. Yeah, look how see, look at all the layers there. Yeah. That's why they don't show it that often, because it's a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, no! <coughs> I want to play Grand Theft Auto version of this game. This would have been really <laughs> cool to see, like, in the theater back then. Oh, yeah, no, it was great. And see, 3D. now they're in the smog. In now they're in the Doctor Who smog tunnel. Yeah. God, it would be in 3D these days. Yeah. The, the 3D element. <laughs> the the Third sixth element. element. <laughs> Slow, police. These police are slow. <laughs> ah, blinding. Hiding right next to a gigantic bright sign probably isn't the best thing to do, but I guess you do need the set to be red. I was just going to say, like, to conclude your thought on that, but at least it makes <laughs> the car red for the scene. <laughs> Imagine if we just fell in on top of her. <laughs> <laughs> That's what would happen if this were me. I'd be like, hold on, I'm coming in, and I'd just fall in. <laughs> oh, God, I'm sorry. <laughs> she, she did, Yeah, she kind of needs a doctor. She can jump through buildings, but she can't take a violent car ride. <laughs> well, she wasn't wearing her seatbelt. <laughs> 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 I'm looking for a priest over here. Luckily, that they still have phone books in the future. Google phone hasn't tablet. been invented yet. <laughs> I do like this set too. How it how it feels very very old. Yeah. You think he'd be freaking out about the end of the world in like three days? Why isn't he just wearing the glasses? They're bifocals. <laughs> well, that was a stock falling over sound. <laughs> yeah. Sound effects ain't cheap, except they are kind of cheap. Not in this quantity. No, I, I, that, that, if anything's ruined movies for me, it's it's working on wonders and knowing what all like the stock sound stock effects sound. are. <laughs> like glass breaking, door yeah. opening... I hate whenever Seven I hear the Doom follow. door in anything. The that's Doom not door Doom. or like the or the Doom fireball. Yeah. yeah. The <laughs> Doom the, door um, most of all because you hear that a lot. You hear that a lot. Yeah, and like the, uh, in the, that animal grunting sound from Doom. I was going to say there's like the uh the <laughs> sound you get from like like dinosaur grunt or whatever. <laughs> She's perfect. See? <laughs> He's like, well, I did want a perfect girl. And she is unconscious. Ever since that problem met that... Oh, I can't remember the name from the tower in Die Hard. <laughs> can't make the rest the of the... Yo Yokoshima... Yokosami... I don't know. Ever since the Die Hard tower, I had to look <laughs> for another wife. <laughs> no, they were they were married in Die Hard 2, but then they... Got... Oh, you're right, damn it. Yeah. Ever since that incident at the airport where I blew up a bunch of planes. <laughs> You know Bruce Willis was in G.I. Joe 2. Uh, really? Yep. yep. He really doesn't like making movies anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry I kissed you, it's just that thing you're wearing. He My doesn't want to be in Expendables 3 either, even though he's <laughs> great in those. Oh, I was well. just going to give you a big bottle boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Corbin, with a K. <laughs> like maybe I should have teased you with a gun to my face. I like how the guns don't look like like traditional guns either. They're you know? very boxy. They, they do. Well, they look like future sci-fi guns. Are they? Are they bullets or are they lasers? Got bullets. Little yellow. I guess they're, I guess they're bullets. Light. Yeah. <laughs> you, we just had a whole action scene. Weren't you paying attention? <laughs> no, it was looking at Lilo Dallas multipass. Yada, 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 ooh. Sure. Corbin Dallas. Corbin Dallas. <laughs> <coughs> that 
It's a pretty name. Nope, and he's looking at her breast. How do you know? He just looked down. What else was he looking at? A gun. Her size. <laughs> he took too much time changing into his robes. <laughs> 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 no, shoot him. Because, because she's the only one with a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> because that shirt is so bizarre. It, it's the all the it's the costume design. I, I love it because it's so different. It's 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 kind of effeminate though. I think that's what what gets me about it is it's like, oh oh yeah, there's um there's quite the amount of effeminacy in the thing, but it's French. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's a cab. He only has, <laughs> he only has one point left. On his no, license. he lost it when he when he ran off from the cops. Yeah. Yeah, you shouldn't have because he was unconscious, and that is you know horrible. His crazy cat. Jeez. His uh, car garage is bigger than his apartment. <laughs> So his apartment is literally just this, this one hallway, isn't it? Yep. Stupid star on the wheel. They go to a science museum gift shop and pick that up. <laughs> <laughs> Set design. Old buddy figure. Then he taps it. <laughs> it's 5.25... PM. PM, yeah. Eighteenth <coughs> of March, twenty two sixty three. Oh, that's a little calendar. Yeah. On a stick. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what we saw earlier. Yeah. It, was it eight off? They what have the they f- have little sticks that tell the date and time, but they still don't have phones with touch pads. <laughs> I don't know what that eight off book is. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> is he a secret Nazi? <laughs> <laughs> In the future everyone's a future secret Nazi. Nazi. <laughs> yeah, it's like he's like secret Nazi. I'll probably never see her again. Is it, is it mine coop? <laughs> Look, she's using Encarta 96. I could have sworn I saw the words <laughs> Macarena there. <laughs> a little, that's too early, too early. I don't think this was when it came out. I'm, it's like, I, uh, I think it was earlier than this. It was in the mid-90s. It's like the, um, the, uh, she, the she internet knows, scene. She knows from, Kung uh, Fu. Oh, I love, I love they, they reused this joke essentially from... Um, Back to the Future, but it's just a great joke. What's she doing? She put a bunch of balls into the oven thingy, and now she's got a full course meal. <laughs> <laughs> Vegetables and everything. <coughs> she's just eating. This is great, because this is where we start the uh, cross-cutting dialogue scenes. Yeah, stolen. It's okay. <clears throat> it's got a limp. Listen carefully. Fire 500,000 people. Smaller companies. One of the cab companies. Huh? What? We'll get to that later. They're gonna fire like a, a million people, and he was thinking from one of the smaller companies, like the uh, the cab companies. Oh, why? Oh, just for economic turmoil or whatever. But just oh. it's 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 just remember that of what he said, and I'll bring it up later. Okay. So that's I love, Ga- I so, love Gary Oldman. Yeah, that's world. Gary freaking Oldman. He that's looks Gary nothing Oldman. like Gary Oldman there. Oh God. Yeah, you should see him in um. He plays such a different character in in Luc Besson's other movie, uh, Lay on the Professional. He plays this crazy, crack-addicted, corrupt cop. It's amazing. So different. Me. It was Gary Oldman. <laughs> but it didn't really look like him. Look, that's what Lilu's gonna wear. <laughs> <laughs> so the men's clothes have gotten a little bit more effeminate, and the women basically wear nothing these days. <laughs> <laughs> yes, perfect. Her chest could use some work. <laughs> no, she's, oh, uh, she's fine. She is a <laughs> exceptional human being. She is uh, what do I what do I know? I, I'm I'm not even into that. <laughs> <laughs> I 
look at his. She gets his naked hair. a lot in her movies. Costumes. Like in the Resident Evil movies, she's like every movie she's a, make it at least once. Oh yeah, because she's Mila Jovovich. Because she's French. That black man just turned into an alien. Or yeah, she's not French. She's whatever. Canadian. No, I don't know. <laughs> look, he's not his N gauge. I swear one of those extras, um, the muscly extra guys on the side there, shows up later as a different extra. I it, These old movies, too, like, sci-fi this... movies in particular always had the most ridiculous-looking villains ever. <laughs> like, James Bond and everything else, yeah. where it's just like, give them some kind of weird, like, half-cybernetic bit. You know, like, <laughs> just make them strange-looking. This, this scene, I love. Yeah, I remember this one. So do you think... Oh, yeah, this one. <laughs> well, there was a gun like this in some FPS. Or some, <laughs> like, Ratchet and Clank or, or whatever. Oh, probably. Game with that, yeah. Oh, no, it was a, a Jack and Daxter. Yeah, the same game. Yeah. Now, do you think when um <laughs> they had this character, do you think he was written like this? Or did Gary Oldman, like, create this character? I don't know, honestly. Um... <laughs> <coughs> but Gary Oldman pulls him off so great. Oh, yeah, it's just a bunch of guys in makeup. <laughs> the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh. <laughs> Clap. <laughs> it's an egg gun. <laughs> Act not. I like how he's not just like a generic, like, European-accented villain, either. Yeah. <laughs> Cross-cutting dialogue. <laughs> so brilliant. So brilliant. And she explains. <laughs> That's my hand. It goes like one of this. one of the words in divine language was tuna. <laughs> <laughs> Explain that. Or is tuna a divine food? It yeah. could be. It's brave food. Fish is brave food. <laughs> <coughs> for the address, Angel Constellation. Plants are made of. I mean. Constellations are made of stars, not planets. It, as it, far as not, you know. Not in the future. Ha! 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 <laughs> oh, now they speak English? <laughs> kick them in the balls! They don't <laughs> have balls, they're aliens. No, no, kick Gary Oldman. Yeah. Look, they all have, like, plastic stuff on their heads. Yeah, yeah. they all do. Look at that. It's it's the bad guy fashion of the future. <laughs> They're chrome domes. Except the henchman, dude. You have to know he's the henchman. <coughs> he just doesn't wear a shirt. Look at Blank. that. Blank. He's not wearing a shirt. Blank. Blank. Nope. <laughs> he's poking in the belly button. <laughs> Oh, so great. Do, do, do. I love the music, too. <laughs> what is this, a comedy movie? <laughs> <laughs> what does this do? I don't know. I'm not going to look at explosions. I smoke. That's too cool. That's too cool, this factor's right there. Yeah. Now, look at that. She looks into this. And what? You'll see. You'll see. It cuts back to her. Oh, it's like a makeup gun, right? Yeah, ruined it! Jesus! Yeah. Ah! But yes, that's what it is. She doesn't need makeup. <laughs> See? Makeup. Uh. <laughs> I'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Zorg? Is that his name? 
Yes. Zordberg. Baptiste, John Baptiste, Emmanuel. Need a name of a villain? Why not Zordberg? <laughs> Look, he's got a scimitar and other round things. <coughs> What's the Witch King helmet? <laughs> I think it's a jackhammer. You there, Casey? 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 Ah, he's gone. Oh my god! He says he's there. Hmm. Oh well, we'll just keep going. Look, he has a little, like, soul patch. <laughs> It's like a douche. <laughs> it was before Bluetooth headsets were, were created. <laughs> Look at all the weapons he's got displayed. <laughs> Battle bots! This is basically the scene from The Matrix Reloaded, but except of a woman with a cake, it's little robots in glass. <laughs> Essentially. Whee! Even get Casey back in here. What? What? There you are. Holy crap, Casey! You were gone for the longest time. Oh, I wasn't. You were. You were not talking. You weren't saying oh. anything. You noticed that? <laughs> I was, you, I was getting more drink. I was getting more Twitter. drink. No, I was getting <laughs> another drink. I'm sorry. Did you see the little robots? Yeah. I came back right on it. A cherry. I love how the computer. He picks a cherry, and the computer says, "A cherry." <laughs> <laughs> Cut. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Just, I love the music. It's just so lighthearted. Even though the guy's choking to death. The movie could have ended right here. <coughs> what is that little inflatable thing? It's comedy. In, in, case, it, in case the room floods? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the CDs. They're square CDs. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? What the? What the? <laughs> it's sunspot. It keep is that, cute. They keep that poor little animal in that. It doesn't seem very upset drawer. about it though. <laughs> Look, no, it's like crawling. It doesn't have any sunlight. Maybe it's nocturnal. Ew. <laughs> what the heck? Ow. <laughs> I know. <laughs> He's such a good villain. He's great. Look what, at was that a, is that a right? musket with a tuba on the end of it he's i guess he's a weapons dealer they well, make weapons art, so art these are all the well no the company makes weapons the cf1 they have that all well, scene so i guess that, they're all weapons this thing on the, it's like a crab with a lamp on it i think it was some sort of like brass knuckles for aliens i don't know no it's a planet <laughs> oh that no oh look well, out that, that is straight out of star oh. wars that's <laughs> Shaw right there it's the crazy tube guys in the spinny chairs again <laughs> and the purple white house oh i love this <laughs> This suit says danger on it. <coughs> Whoa. Ah. Whoa. 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 Now look, I like how he's injured. He's got the injury thing from, from when he smashed his face on the when Lilu smashed his face in the glass. <laughs> Is that just like a perfectly camouflaged cockroach with a satellite on its back? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love this part coming up when he he's gonna smash the he's gonna smash the thing. And you gotta watch this guy's reaction and see if you notice anything about it. Uh, see the, the the headphones just like snap straight off his head. They, they just did. like straightened up and bounced off his head. Oh, they did. Yeah. <laughs> so, Completely unrealistic, and it just works. <laughs> so that president guy is in Human Centipede Three. Oh, I'm so sorry. He is <laughs> yep. three. Who was said to be three? What? There's is that the one, one where those? they where they put like a hundred people back to back? Yeah. Well, back? Let's, not, let's not talk about that. 
Let's talk about Human Centipede too. Let's I'm talk just... about Bruce Willis in his very revealing suit. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he's a crap ton of stuff. That guy? No, but like president guy. Bruce Willis? Well, he was he too. was he was he a rapper or a musician or something? I don't know. I don't think so. I just sworn it was. You're fired. You're fired. <laughs> oh, he, he is a Af- he's Zorg. an African American basketball player turned. Oh, that's what it was. Okay, see Zorg. Remember earlier he's gonna uh, fire right. a, yeah, mil- yeah. a million from the cab company. Well, I, I mean, I assumed Bruce Willis was gonna get fired. Right, but he works for Zorg. There's a connection. Oh. Interesting. Yes. Wait, so he's still in his apartment. Did that, that guy with his shop just roll up to his window? No, no. They don't have wheels. Well, you know what I mean. He's in a boat. That's really nice. I wish like I could have a McDonald's just roll up next <laughs> to my apartment. You you can, because that's your last name. <laughs> Alright, I wish I could have a subway roll right next to my apartment. <laughs> that's your middle name. <laughs> See? Oh, neat! He's got, like, a... <laughs> Look at that! Go hide that like, bridge. Got the Why do they have a bridge? Wait a second! <laughs> People walk? Why is there a bridge? There were cars on it. Well, it's retro, you know. Match heads are black. Dallas, you never call your mother anymore! <laughs> Why I don't, don't you call your... I'm your mother! I'm Why don't you call me? I'm too busy killing terrorists! <laughs> Lost in paradise. We put the the phone on the shelf there. I never noticed that. Oh, What's that that, that, uh, that president guy. He was in the yeah. Dark Knight. He was the prisoner that threw the detonator out of the. the... Oh yeah, that was him. <laughs> wow, he sure <laughs> fell quite a ways from being president to a prisoner. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> prisoner. So what, he just beca- he just what, did he win? Yeah, he won the Flash in Paradise. And look, Leia's there, and she's put on some pounds. See, it's magnetic. Yeah, yeah, no, I love it. We should have magnetic coffee cup hold, coffee pot holders and wonders. Oh, uh, we'll be accused of ripping them off because that's exactly what we're doing. All right, then we'll put the 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 magnets will be on like the horizontal flat counter surfaces, so it's pointless. But they still do it because <laughs> why not? <laughs> <coughs> Actually, I guess you could say that the prop uh, coffee maker has that magnetic thing that holds the cup in place. Yeah, it does. So you can carry it in your hand at any angle. The coffee will spill out, but you know whatever. <laughs> it's not perfect. He retired only six months ago. He's been a cab driver for six months. (laughs) 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 Mirrors the last dialogue. Like every scene is so great. (laughs) <laughs> see it's it's clear what the fuck is the point of making it clear <laughs> so we can see uh, it Iceborg. <laughs> her name is major iceborg iceborg because <laughs> in the future it's cheaper to make plastic instead of paper yeah i guess so with it's clear so the audience can see it when he's holding so it. So it looks, it looks futuristic. Corbin Dallas. Oof. Oh, there's a camera here. <laughs> we wear the same color of clothes. She also has very red hair, and so far no one else does, but, you know. <laughs> we kissed once. It, it was mutual. Well, at least one of us did. <laughs> now, is the... F- Mark, you're a master of color. Is the fact that she has orange hair and he has an orange... That orange is a hair. very deep fridge. <laughs> <laughs> Just say three grown men and there's one woman yeah, in there. <laughs> two, two grown men and one woman. It's not that what? No! Oh, it's not that deep! Because a fridge turns into a, a, a shower. It's a dance yeah. fridge. Yeah. Look, it's a younger Obi Wan Kenobi. Wait, it's Ian on, McGregor. The, the, the fridge went down and became a shower? Yeah. yeah. The, the, Mark, you need to play Stars of Titanic. <laughs> they did the same thing? The, the third class rooms in that are just like this, where everything like has to <laughs> fold up into each other to work. <laughs> uh, <laughs> There's a whole I really puzzle around it. 
Whoa, Ian Holmes back in the heat. Yeah, it was Corbin Dallas is gone. Do you think he ever let the the the, the military out of his fridge? What are those? You'll see. Big lights on the front of their uniforms. Spotlights, Spotlights I guess. Spotlights. Yeah. Awesome, martial law. Rad. So you think the same Rad. people who played those cops are the same people who played the robots? Because they kind of look the same. <laughs> <laughs> now, why couldn't he put both yes, of them in the shower. shower? I don't understand. <laughs> Maybe it's really, really small, so it doesn't fit. <laughs> now we're going to have a 15-minute <laughs> sequence where, she, where he's going to the furnace. <laughs> well, does every room have a place for um to put your hands if you get arrested? Yeah, it's a, I guess a security measure. Is it like in a in Minority Report where it's just like, oh yeah, every once in a while, little robot insects are gonna come oh, and scan us because they move the thing. Yeah, he actually says "smoke you." That's the interesting thing. Smoke you? Yeah. I wonder I if that's like a they... big insult in the future. <laughs> I always thought they just they they just um, uh, censored the f word on um, oh, TV on TV because they would always blot out the uh, the uh, the flipping the bird. But no, he actually says "smoke you." Look, he's he's petting his thing. His thing? Oh, the thing. Yeah. So now, just to feel you're paying attention. Um, oh, he's hugging him. They hired the police to go get Corbin Dallas, and the and the black guy henchman dude is going to take Corbin Dallas's place. But now this happens. Oh, that, his little ear thing's broken. Oh, yeah. That's good continuity. <coughs> yeah, They're very wrinkly. How can they ever find each other attractive? <laughs> Her makeup washed off. That stuff's falling out. What, what, what's with the music playing in the background? <laughs> he left his it's, radio it's on. It's classy. It's classy because she's now in a wet t-shirt contest and he's Bruce Willis. <laughs> Smooth talker. It is a very cold shower, I guess. It was the auto wash. Oh. Forgot about the auto wash. It cleans the shower, I guess. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the auto wash. <laughs> I like how fast he turns around. Do you think they had to had like edit that somehow? <laughs> He's just like whoosh, he's around the other way. It's like, oh guys, I think we have to do another take. <laughs> Circle. <laughs> He left him out. Him in there. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that they're dead now? No, they they come back. Well, that like this big trash. Is that all, what what is they, that? This is basically a, a launch pad airport, essentially, and they never explain it. But it's just that the the whole other side of that is full of garbage. They meant they reference it. They say that we're we're sorry for the garbage, but they they don't explain like why is this full of trash? Yeah, why is it full of trash? I, I don't know. <laughs> But it works. Nobody questions what the hell is wrong with it. <laughs> David's in great shape. <laughs> At first I thought it might be like where people put their luggage. It's like instead of having <laughs> like the conveyor luggage. belt. They, That's well, the lost you know. and found. It's the lost <laughs> and found. <laughs> <coughs> lost in paradise. So now David's pretending to be Corbin Dallas. Yeah.
Thank you. <laughs> just looking at everything. She is <laughs> definitely foreign. <laughs> <laughs> that was a classy jacket. <laughs> now that's now this, that's the guy they uh, they captured in the body bag. Oh, that was multi pass. It's multi pass. No, it's a multi pass. <laughs> yeah, she knows. No, I this is great too. Voice. This is great. The human. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a sidewalk. <laughs> you had one job, David. Now, now he's gonna get another job. <laughs> you want some more? So they don't have robots working the fast food, but they do have robots making drinks. Making yeah. drinks in the garbage heap bar side the whatever. <laughs> well, this is like probably like on the ground, so that's where all the garbage is, you know. <coughs> like, why isn't she a robot? <laughs> I guess then we wouldn't be able to see her magnificent cleavage. Oh, was that what everyone was looking at? Well, I, I didn't notice her... her shirt is a little bit ridiculous. <laughs> a little bit? It's just a little bit. She's got, like, blue eyeshadow over her eyebrows. I like how his face is... <laughs> or aliens not allowed to fly? He's dangerous. She's wearing a thong, and she's got, like, a see-through... Skirt. <laughs> Multipass. <laughs> Multipass. <laughs> there are some very mannish women in this movie. Especially like, that one. <laughs> speak, see, look at that. Joseph, it's French. All <laughs> French women are mannish. Not really. I happen to think that bald chick was quite attractive and had it's, a nice butt. The joke well, the is she one. had a manly voice. <laughs> because she's an alien. <laughs> well, so now we're, being, now we're being racist here. Was... Aliens aren't races. They're species. I'm speciest. Oh, so now they're on the ship. Or they're uh, not quite the ship. They're still Yellow like a boarding thing. Yep. Yellow and blue are such great contrasting. Oh Yay! my god. So... <laughs> The weirdest and maybe un most unnecessary part of this movie. And probably the best. <laughs> it's like, I, I don't really get the... I never really got why he's in this, you know? A little it's bit just, of a... It's just so weird. I think this is actually the reason why my parents didn't want me to watch this movie. It might influence you badly? <laughs> yeah, I think they might. They thought they, I think they thought it might make me gay. <laughs> I don't like that term oh. though. <laughs> it's like a music yeah. video. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it's supposed to because he's doing a radio program right now. Yeah. <laughs> they all have freckles. I like how they're just trying to interview him. With this. <laughs> you see the spec the lady? <laughs> <laughs> At this point in the movie, Bruce Willis is like, you know what? I might be done with acting. <laughs> I Bruce Willis is just so good at this kind of role, though. He's just like, I I don't fucking know what's going on. Yeah, it's so like this, this fish that, out of water kind of character. Yeah, I think that's why I like the newest Die not the newest, but the second to newest Die Hard, where he's dealing with all the computer <laughs> hackers and stuff, and he's still like the old like you know Die yeah. Hard Bruce Willis. <laughs> All the flight attendants have lots of freckles, and I'm okay with that. They're all that technically the same person. <laughs> they just have a cloning machine for flight attendants. They might. 
was. <laughs> yes, man, look at half a head of hair. Like... <laughs> I love how he just. Oh, he just owns this role, though. <laughs> like, no matter, despite the fact so of how great. ridiculous it is, he's yeah. just really into this. It's so perfect for this role. It does it so. I love him in this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, <what laughs> you want? I can't turn left. <laughs> <laughs> this looks at the hair. <laughs> <laughs> Must be green, okay? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> so now we have Zorg's uh, henchman dude trying to be Corbin Dallas. So at this point, we've had four Corbin Dallas's. Yeah. <laughs> Always like that. Back in my <laughs> hole. They just have guns. <laughs> little little microphone just pops out. I was I was I, I wondered just like I haven't seen this in a long time, and I really was curious to see how they do the. Uh... Like the spaceship, like cruise ship in this, since you know we do wonders. <laughs> well, yeah, it, well, this is a crew. I mean, they're just going to the crew, to the cruise oh, planet. Yeah. Just, oh, oh, yeah. they're going. This, this is the flight going to the cruise. Yeah, planet. like it, it's it's yeah. on it's it's going to take like well, I guess in this universe like a, a day or so, but you know, it's a different yeah, planet. <laughs> in real life, that's this kind of how cruise ships work. They're just kind of there to ferry you to like. A resort or whatever. It's like a floating hotel that goes around to other islands. And yeah. Yeah, I guess you can go to like resorts on those islands. Sometimes they'll do that. But the the hotel, the 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 cruise itself is also like a hotel. Crispo would know because he's been on a cruise. Yeah. Well, and see, and wonders. But this one, know. they're just like putting them to sleep. More freckles. Because yeah, I was just like in wonders of the universe. The idea is that the ship itself is actually like oh, the oh. resort. You know. This is great. <laughs> His voice still echoes. Yeah. <laughs> I love the reggae music, and then the, these just like these guys down here, just Rastafarian. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Was that plutonium? Yeah, they got, they got to refuel it. <laughs> Space parasites. What are they doing? My oh, no. <laughs> what are they... <laughs> They're all over the power cables. <laughs> <laughs> what are those little things? <laughs> yeah, uh, see that match there? Yeah, 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 no, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of bench cuts in this, so I'll give yes. you that. You making fun of me? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Cross cutting dialogue is so great in this movie. Oh, and there is a way. And somebody just did this flying from L.A. to yeah, right uh, Hawaii. Yeah, it's this really? little kid, like, was running away from home, and he, like, passed out. <laughs> hold hold something, on, this yeah, actually like works? You can actually do this? On well, the he, he you almost... Can hide in the, yeah, he almost died. You can hide in the, in the wheel well, but he was going at super high altitudes over Everest height. So the fact that he survived oh. is amazing. Look at that, look at that. Legs go up. <laughs> so great. <laughs> I 
Imagine filming something like this where you got to film all those individual little jump cuts, though. Yeah. That's got to be a lot of work. It's mostly with the editing. <laughs> I know, I know, but it's just like... It's all storyboarded. Yeah. They blew up a model again. Ah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Everything matches up with the explosion. Yeah. <laughs> Hydraulics. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to New York. See, look at that New York. Look how big it is. It's all the way out to the Statue of Liberty, and oh, look how low it is. The Statue, of the 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 oceans have lowered. Oh wow! I didn't even look at that. Yeah, I've never I never actually noticed that before. <laughs> Hyperspeed. Um, uh oh. Uh oh. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> What are you, an idiot? <laughs> she has different hair in every scene. <laughs> She's still changing her, her nails. She just put the second one in. That should put the third one in. Mr. Shadow. Does he ever leave his office? <laughs> he did that one time when he blew up all the aliens. Is he a, workah yeah. is he a workaholic? <laughs> well, you know that workaholics are actually like the ultimate bad guy. Is the planet sending him a, a telephone call? <laughs> yep. <laughs> it just cuts back to the planet and there's a giant phone around it. Yeah. It's me. I'm the planet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wanted to keep it a secret, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm the planet, yeah. His name is Mr. Shadow. Mr. Shadow. This is Mr. Zorg. So Mr. Zorg isn't really the villain that Mr. Shadow is. Evil. Pure evil is. Well, yeah, but I mean, that's the thing is, like, you always have, like, the big bad, and then you have, like, the bad guy. And the big yeah, bad, like, yeah. the, the villain is usually never, like, the, well, well, the what's ultimate. Great about, what's great about this is that Gary Oldman's character here never meets up with Bruce Willis's character. They never meet. Really? Works, like he works for it's like, like Khan and Mr. Khan. Khan. Well, they met in space. Or they yeah. met out, yeah. <laughs> Chocolate Is syrup. his head just blowing up? What? what, what? Well, he's talking to pure evil. This was happening to the people at the uh, the beginning when the the and the original ship that blew up. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Damn. Was, was it something Stop we did? Is our is our room not purple enough? <laughs> Hershey's. Um. His little. Quick. His little. Classic cat is neat. too um <laughs> it's too tight. Boston Paradise! Oh, it's the wonders of the Titanic. The... <laughs> I like how it has like smokestacks, even though that's not what they are. Now when it's, I was actually drawing the... the wonders of the universe, I googled uh space cruise ships to get like reference pictures of things. Yeah, you yeah. And this is one of the ones that came up. And I was like, what's yeah. that? Oh, fifth <laughs> element. I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's like a Japanese hotel. He's got corny hats on. <laughs> it's Space Hawaii. Yeah, so it's not actually like a... a well, whatever. It's just a water <laughs> planet. <laughs> water world. <laughs> What makes, like, I guess if you have your, all your planets in sci-fi are all specific biomes, you're going to inevitably have the paradise planet. <laughs> Every corner of the globe is paradise. <laughs> yeah. It's cloudy out. You were in space like 20 minutes yeah, ago. What the hell? Say you're you're passed by a big <laughs> room. <laughs> I just don't get it. I'm being kissed by all these girls and they're putting flowers around my neck. <laughs> I'm Bruce Willis. Who, who would have believed a slob like me? <laughs> who would have believed <laughs> an everyman like me? <laughs> Good. I'm not I a stowaway or anything. <laughs> yeah. I flew through space in a wheel well. You'll never believe. Wait. Yeah, so he yeah. wasn't in cryo sleep for the eight months or whatever it took to get to this planet. <laughs> <clears throat> Look, those jugs. I I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> B 
Speaking What's of a rock, blue in this room? It's it's a it's a choice. Actually, this room is comprised mostly of blue, yellow, and red. The red, yeah, Bruce she's, the, she's the only red. She's and only Bruce red Willis. And Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis is the yellow because yeah. they put him in front of the lamp. <laughs> yeah, it, they stick out. Yeah, yeah, no, I, yeah. I'm just it's... she had she had to deliver the bad news of he has to sit next to Ruby Rod. Bad news. I would say that's the best news. <laughs> Look, the phone has a little Lego piece on the end of it. Yeah. <laughs> he's getting self call from his mom from halfway yeah. across the galaxy. <laughs> Look at that bearskin rug. I've never seen that before. <laughs> uh, this, this is just like there's so many neat little things. Uh, yeah. It's neat how like a lot of this place is is very Indian. Like yeah, like the art yeah. designs and stuff are very like I. I like India, Indian, you know. Yeah. Whatever you call that, I I don't know. All of Indian. a sudden, yeah, I guess it is Indian. Indian. The language is Hindi. Well, because I don't want people to mistake it for like Native American Indian. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. Now, when I when I saw the movie, I always thought he was David, because they kind of act. They're kind of these nervous young guys. So his, his yeah, name was, his name was Fog. His name is Fog. Yeah. Oh, there's a door there. So is she like a like a holy figure. She's a she's a diva. Oh, she complains all the time about every <laughs> little thing. No, she's not a Casey. Oh. She's talking to the signs again. Oh, what are you gonna say? She was talking to the sign on the wall. Oh, Radio Cosmos. Oh, this is great. Helm to one hundred eight. <laughs> it's like what the hell? It's just, Why? I, just, I keep trying to imagine the directing in this movie and like the things he's telling them. Like, it's like I heard you, one oh eight. Jeez. Uh, oh, he's got a ruby around his neck. He's ruby rod. There's nobody filming him. He's on the radio. Oh yeah. Yeah. In the future, this would all be filmed, though. Yeah, no, what's, what's I mean, a radio? Um, it's like a TV when it's static. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like a podcast. Yeah. yeah. He's a podcaster. <laughs> live. live. He's really big on YouTube. <laughs> I mean, like, if they had had cameras in this, it would have been distracting. Yeah. But, yes, um... <laughs> but it just seems weird to me that they don't have, like, something filming him for, like, <laughs> how much he emotes and stuff, you know? <laughs> I swear that laser ball player was um, one of the uh, the extras that was in the uh, no. Zorg's, uh... Oh, yeah, that. <laughs> I like how his microphone is actually, day. like, in his cane there. Yeah. Or no, does he have an earpiece or something? It's, it's, one, of, it's one of each. It's a light. <laughs> these are all extras nowadays they just whenever they have these huge things to fill uh they they, they, they just with... they load it up with cgi they, they film yeah. like two dozen of them and then they copy them <laughs> i mean like i understand the practicality of that oh yeah yeah is that guy evil he, he was in the he does have a mustache if he isn't being killed by aliens <laughs> oh no, he's one of them! This is one of the, my favorite blue aliens I've ever seen. She's from the Navi planet. <laughs> of blanket, Navis. Re- blanket reference. <laughs> so when uh, Jake English in Homestuck was talking about blue aliens, is she, did he mention this one? I don't think he did, actually. Mark here doesn't know who Jake English is. Should we clarify? <laughs> Nah. I don't know. Nah, it's not a big... I'm looking at Alien. <laughs> uh, so it's a cross between the Coneheads, Smurf, and the Alien from the Xenomorph from Aliens. <laughs> <laughs> and it has I mean... tentacles. <laughs> like dreads. <laughs> yes. It's again, it's a nice character. It's a nice costume design. I was just, uh, yeah, I was going to say, I think this is like one of the more interesting <gasps> costumes. Padme! <in> <laughs> Padme! <laughs> 
Casey, can you draw that kind of that kind of planet? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll get on it. <laughs> Every planet I draw gets better. Just you wait. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know what the trick with planets that I always think makes them look really interesting? Um, I find that I want to come talking about the planet and not the woman. But the... Uh, <laughs> The no, it's 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 always the horizons. It's always the edges, and then like yeah. uh, you either make them sharp or you make them blurry. And in this case, they're like very blurry and very glowy, and it makes them uh, it makes them have like these big bright coronas around them. So, is there a little head tail thing? Is that is that her head or is that fabric? Well, no, that that's evolution, Joseph. Oh, it's evolution. That just okay. comes from it's, yeah, and it's part it's of her a, head. It's supposed to be her head. It's obviously fabric. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah it's it is costume. obviously. Fabric. Well, I just don't know if. She could be wearing a, a headdress yeah. over the tentacle. Maybe that's maybe that's their you know reproductive organs. You don't know that. What a very boring way to reproduce. You're like it back went. to back. You can't see each other. <laughs> Man, this. Oh wait, so now it's in space. I thought it was like on the on the. They they oh, took that... off to oh, for huh. the for the they opera. Must have taken off, yeah. They didn't really show it though. See the diva. I know. I just I'm making <laughs> bad jokes. Don't worry. Bad room. I wanted the champagne. Oh, is this when she starts going techno? <laughs> no, the, almost. Yeah. Bruce Willis <laughs> is like, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, I like how Bruce Willis just just gets nothing of this. It's like people pay for this. What's going on? I'm gonna be honest. I've never been to an opera, but I think I'd be pretty bored. I, I don't. I've, been, I don't... I've never been to. I don't Go know ahead. if I would be, because I would probably find it interesting, but only for like five minutes. <laughs> I've seen um, operas on some some movies. Like I've seen a reproduction. Uh, they filmed the movie. They filmed an opera and they showed it on the screen. Um, I've been to theater. I've seen some plays. I've never sat and actually seen a theater uh, an opera. I-, I watched Amadeus. Well, because I like to Amadeus move around. Is really good. Yeah. Like I'm 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 an energetic kind of person. I like to be able to move around and stuff. And in an opera, you're kind of stuck there. I mean, like in the movie. I feel like you can get up and go to the bathroom and stuff like that, but with a with an opera, it's like if you get up, you're like offending the people that are there. Yeah, you know? you're like disrupting. Yeah. There it goes. Tempo increases. Oh, she's. Oh, that's. Oh, she goes techno. I thought you yeah, were making a that's... joke. No. <laughs> Look at this. A right time for a fight scene too. <laughs> this is this is a corny fight scene, but it's fun. <laughs> well, it's like when um, it's like when River does it on a. Oh yeah. <laughs> This one, what? Sorry, I had the volume turned up. Uh, uh, River Tam does it on Serenity. It's a movie. Oh, yeah. Ah! <laughs> if this was made today, this would be dubstep. <laughs> it'd be it'd be Justin Bieber. It'd yeah. be the diva. <laughs> Justin would be the alien. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> it's classy. <laughs> Damn, she flips faster than my bullets. <laughs> and she was Neo before Neo. Yeah. <laughs> it's like <laughs> I can't figure out if this, mo- this movie is like a comedy or not. Like, yeah, I, I think, think that's why is. people didn't it's get it. Light, like, is it supposed to be serious? Is it a comedy? Is action. it lighthearted? Is it? Yeah, it, it's lighthearted action. Yeah. Spielberg puts a lot of comedy bits into his movies, even the more serious, not like Schindler's List or anything like that. Well, actually, Schindler's List does have a little tiny bits of, of, of but not quite comedy, like, but lightheartedness in it as well. There's like flat out moments of slapstick in this. Yeah, no, it's it, but it works all together. I mean, That's like the back thing. then, back then you didn't do <laughs> movies like back then. It was like all the way one way or the other. Yeah, I feel like if this were like. If this were released nowadays, you know, like if you updated everything to be like what people like nowadays with like graphics and stuff, this would probably be a very successful movie because of the style just being so ridiculous and people seem to like that nowadays. It would be Michael Bay bullcrap. How, no, I mean, How like, do you know, Mark? I'm, I'm just because saying Michael like, Bay would do it. No, but I'm saying like if the script were the same and like the, the settings, and all that, like, you know, it just, you no, know, I'm just saying that like. Well, I don't think you could make a movie like this nowadays, like even though. I don't really agree with Mark, but Mark is right. Like, it would have to have special effects and all, all that, like, over-the-top action and all that stuff. Yeah. These no, but I, yeah, I know. I'm just saying that, like, um... No, that's not what I'm saying. What am I saying? <laughs> the, the, uh... 
if like the action and the like the story and the script and all that were just identical, you know, you just updated like the the actual like movie to be like how we film things nowadays or whatever, then get a different director. <laughs> but you know what I mean though, like like people nowadays like get a kick out of this kind of stuff. At least well, I, I don't know, maybe not. I everybody. think it's it's fine how it is. Honestly, I couldn't see it being remade. It's just it just well, works. I, I'm not saying if it was remade. Yeah. Ah, never mind. I'm, if it just came out today. Yeah, the movie yeah. does still feel. The movie feels fresh. It really does. It, it does. does. It does not. Yeah. It has not aged. We have, ah! we have better blue alien makeup. <laughs> Smurfs. Why did you shoot them? They're just lobby boys. Oh my <laughs> god. Wait, is he on the ship too? Yeah, yeah. he just got there. Well, just... Clearly. How do you get there so fast? He, no, with he, his amazing he flew hair. There with his ship. He flew there with his ship and then he docked because he said he had um engine trouble. Well then why was he trying to get the henchman on the ship when he had a because, ship that can just because, fly there? <laughs> because he had has to go in there and he was trying to do it discreetly. I like how Bruce Willis has gotten into the opera by the end of this too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where he's just like, oh man. I didn't see this one this in my army wearing days. like red sunglasses. <laughs> Where's Bionic Eyes? Yeah. Oh. There's the deaf dude. There's the daughter. There's the 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 hench or the uh the the yes men. They're serious black. <laughs> Commissioner Gordon. Commissioner Gordon. He was in a, he was in Hannibal too. I just, I watched that a few days ago. He's been a bunch. He's great. You know, I it's just him. Chris Tucker. Oops. He was in Rush Hour. <laughs> I was just thinking about how you you know you mentioned the the villain and Bruce Willis and this never actually meet face to face. Yep. I was thinking about how like uh No, they meet. They meet a little later, no, they don't, don't they? No, they don't. Really? They, they barely miss each other. I will point this out. Does a uh, Lilu <laughs> meet him? Maybe that's, what, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> yeah, they well, just fought uh Cornelius met him. PC element. Well, I was just thinking about how like nowadays, Easy. I don't know when this shift happened. But movies now, it's like you have to have this big dramatic like uh, showdown. Like yeah, there's there has to be something that binds the hero and the villain together, like their family members or something, you know. Like, uh, but back then they didn't really matter. At you least could just, you at, could just have well, a bad guy. It, it still had it, but this is one of the movies that stands out because it works without having that final confrontation. I, because I, the I, final I, confrontation is about the characters. Well, well, no, no, the, no, I, Sorry, I, don't, I didn't mean, like, a final confrontation. I just mean that, like, you know, nowadays movies have them, their characters are bound together somehow, where it's like, oh, you <laughs> killed my sister or whatever, you know. And yeah. Back then you didn't need that. Stones. It's going to be empty again. This is great. I love this so much. <laughs> <laughs> that's so great <laughs> I swallowed them they're kidney stones I was going to poop them out later actually why are the stones in her <coughs> is it ever explained I'm sure it is well she was transporting them oh <laughs> I love how much he's shaking. Good thing they shot her. Otherwise, this would have been a lot more awkward. It's a good thing the blood is blue, so we don't associate it with being blood. Yeah. He's performing open stone surgery. Don't laugh at my bad jokes. It's better than my innuendos lately, jeez. (laughs) 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 He puts him in his jacket, that's what he puts him in. <laughs> Come on, man. 
<laughs> See, he got out. Oh, that's true, yeah. <laughs> Discreet. How did they smuggle that aboard? <laughs> Aren't they worried about explosive decompression? All the freaking squibs in this set. <laughs> Look at, all the, guys. look at all the squids. Squid. Ha, 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 ha. I get it. Do you think directors I whenever they make a set, they go like, I'm looking so forward to blowing, blowing this up. <laughs> 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 the guy's doing a great job with this set. I love it. He spent days and weeks and months working on it. Now blow it up. <laughs> oh, sweet. We screwed up the shot. Build it again. What's that? <laughs> They screwed up the shot, they have to build the set again. Oh, yeah, yeah. Has that ever actually happened? <laughs> yeah, the Matrix. Like, they have to keep resetting the pillars in, the in like, the lobby shoot I've seen. Really? Yeah, but yep. every time they change the angle, they gotta blow up the, the stuff again. <laughs> oh, wow. I never thought about that, actually. That's terrible. Um, there was a... During the, the final episode of MASH, the big two-hour movie finale, they, um... This part of the set burned down, uh. and they actually had to write that into the story... <laughs> and they, they reused some footage of like the of the the mobile unit um, bugging out, and then they they use that to write in that the set burned down, that the actual excuse me location burned down, <laughs> you know, rebuilt it, because <laughs> right, he's deaf. <laughs> I don't have arms. I mean, I'm not arms. I'm the wrong guy. You just saw me shoot like sixteen of your yeah. friends. <laughs> So he's still recording uh, his show. I know. <laughs> Best vacation ever. Now they're in space, right? So there's less gravity or something? Is there? I don't know, because this is... You know how you're talking about <laughs> slapstick? Yeah. Well, watch. Uh... <laughs> oh my goodness, what? <laughs> what the heck? What? <coughs> Why is he just shooting? Oh goodness. Hanging from the neck. Ow, my kneecap. So when they were writing that, do you think they were just like, and then Bruce Willis jumps on a board, and the alien <laughs> flies up, and his head comes to the floor, and then, uh, the uh, uh, the, the, the black guy that I can't remember his name goes Chris like, Rock, oh god, da, 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 and then like, oh jeez. Chris Tucker, not Chris, Chris Rock. Tucker. Yeah, not Chris Rock. That's yeah, not Chris Rock. Damn all these Chris's. <laughs> god, that scream. That is not the first movie they've done that in. <laughs> yep. Does he have to count for it to blow up? I've never understood that. And he waited like 10 seconds before he started counting. <laughs> yeah. Some... Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Four CGI people, so they actually have to blow up dummies. Oh god. <laughs> oh Chris Tuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Ten. Done. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. <coughs> Triangle. Hey, it's There's a ship a from Wonders Episode 2. <laughs> What's that? Oh. <laughs> well, you know. I draw references from a lot of things. That, uh, none of them are wearing pants. Look, look at oh, those little, like, little yeah, shorts. Only. Yeah. How do I use a gun? <laughs> what is gun? How do I fire? <laughs> Such gun. Much fire. Wow. <laughs> 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 Mangalores. <laughs> 
<laughs> With bullets. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, now we have to give up. <laughs> Bruce Willis is oh, so boy. perfect in this movie. Everybody is perfect in this movie. It's I know, but oh, it's just so like great. So how are they hearing that in real time? It's um space. Oh god, let's not get into hard science here, jeez. <laughs> I mean, like, look at what Chris Tucker's like he's, wearing. He's gonna gonna get into... <laughs> <laughs> they waited until he came down here to take the cuffs off. <laughs> so, a summer scene. Oh, my goodness. Sometimes I forget, too, that he was an alien. <laughs> the priest? Yeah. He was he was the robot. That's right. He was? Yep. Ash. He's much younger. He was also uh the the bad guy in Ratatouille. Like the chef <laughs> guy. Oh, was oh, he? I yep. didn't know that. Oh. Like the like... <laughs> <laughs> He just hams it up in this, like That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Five minutes. <laughs> Can't they just take it and, and jettison it out of the... Uh, whatever. <laughs> See, it's just this character seems at odds with kind of the rest of the movie for some reason. He's the comic relief. I don't dislike him, but it just seems really out of tone the rest of the movie, you know? The the rest of the movie doesn't have a solitary tone. It's it's three different tones, but they all mesh together and it works for some reason. Maybe it's the art direction. (laughs) Somehow it just really works. It's good writing. You know what? It's good writing and decent characters with good motivations and and the, the, you know... I mean, the plot's even pretty generic, but it's just like the art is interesting enough to keep it going, and the characters are fun enough to, to, yeah. to keep it going, and, and so the rest of it doesn't matter. The fact that the tone just keeps shifting all over the place just makes <laughs> it more fun. Yeah, separate them. Everyone be calm. It's it's the kind of movie that I feel that everybody just says is a guilty pleasure <laughs> because it's actually a good movie, even though you can't figure out why. Right here, right here, watch. Corbin Dallas? Go in. Oh, right. This is Zor. <laughs> the door closes. Like, oh, what was that? <laughs> That's as close as they get, other than the fact that he works for Zord Company. Interesting. I wonder if that was a conscious decision too. Like, if he just it has to be. Like, I, mean, it, yeah. I don't want them ever to meet. It took him five minutes, to, four minutes to get down here, and they're so, stealing a ship too. That's why it's a triangle. That that moment would have been like he walks in and just goes like. Who are you? And he goes, oh, I work for you, or whatever. <laughs> would have had like a fight, you know? And, and like, that would... is the bombs counting down? Yeah, and that would have made it shitty. This is so much better. It would have, we're, focused, yeah. we're not focused on that confrontation. We're focused on stuff on blowing the up. the plot, yeah. <laughs> Four, 23, oh, no, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 15, oh, no, he just 14, up and diffuses 13, 13, 12. He's got punch cards. Why is he going so slowly at it? Just Dramatic. put it in! That's what she said. <coughs> Ends on 007. <laughs> I thought they made that prop out of a freaking uh, lock. <laughs> How did the... How did that guy know to start the next bomb up? <laughs> <laughs> no, not Flossed in Paradise. Oh, uh, it's just such a fun. Yep, everything is just, it's just such a fun. Movie. <laughs> ah. 
Is he still getting no, wireless? <laughs> well, it's the future. Everywhere has wireless. <laughs> Think of the ratings. <laughs> Wait, who's the fifth uh, element? <laughs> she is. She's the oh. fifth element. It's so movies. hot in here. Oh my god. She watched that movie. He's got a good. towel. He's got a towel. <laughs> what should we watch? The film. One. It's pretty good. Oh, yeah. No, I heard it's a good thing. I could sell these for crack. <laughs> Didn't even clean them. Look at all the dust. Alien blood. Suspenders are the thing in the future. Yeah. It's like in her, everyone has mustaches. Ah. <sighs> Want to see that look good? <laughs> to be goodness. fair, we make a lot of crap, so we have to get rid of it. <laughs> Valiance, ventriloquist, fallopian tubes. Oh, that's fallopian tubes, damn. <laughs> Everything, everything's going to be okay forever. Yay! Tear down this wall. E- evil is moving. <laughs> I want to be one of those guys in the in the periscope tank in the back, just being woo back and forth the the whole time they're shooting. Thanks, Obama. No. <laughs> uh oh. We gotta wait through a whole movie before we find out what happens? Oh my god. <laughs> I like how in an hour and whatever many minutes, they're not like evacuating the planet. <laughs> they're like, well, we've you got an hour left. You evacuate 200 billion people. You'd think you'd try. It they caused so much panic. You know how much like this people would just go, what would you do in the, what would people do in the last day on Earth? Anything they could. And that's not good. All this stuff would happen. Tiananmen Square. Well, but, but what wait a I'm, second. What Tiananmen Square. That, like, wait a second. Wait a second. Long... Tiananmen Square was not war. That was a protest. I mean, how many times? The, like, okay, how much time have they had that they've known this thing is headed towards Earth? Uh, the past twenty minutes. Is that they, it? it was, they knew it was standing out in Earth. They didn't know it was. Um... Well, no, I mean, like Bruce Willis got on like a like a ship. Oh no! It, okay. it just started moving when they got. Yeah, but they knew ship. it was gonna move. Right? No, they didn't. Yeah, it did. they said like oh, it's, it's, it's the Tarbama. So like 40, 48 hours or whatever, until they had to get to the element place, or well, evil went there. Cornelius wasn't even freaking out; he was just staying in his uh. Yeah. It's going past Saturn. I just, I just like I said, I think it's just incredible that Wait they haven't. Like, it no... was, it was past Jupiter, and then Jupiter said, "Why is it going past Saturn now?" It's going the wrong way. That's yeah. That's. I mean, space is a big place. Lots of space to get lost in. Maybe you took the wrong direction. <laughs> and of it's course, all, all like, the planets oh. are, are lined up in a straight line, so you don't <laughs> have to pass all of them. It just goes like, oh, damn. I thought Pluto was Earth. Well, look at that. <laughs> No, it does. What? Every weapon has a manual? What do you think the user's guide for the Death Star was? <laughs> Point and fire. <laughs> Point and Co- click interface. Cover the, the exhaust pipe. <laughs> why Why was the Death Star so big? He has big? a lightsaber. <laughs> because it had to be a menacing circle. Oh. Trying to keep you in the DJ business. 
trying to keep you in the DJ business. Everything changed. Triangles. So They're all triangles. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, it's Hi, made Earth. Earth. You're all screwed. At that speed, it's going to enter orbit. Right? Like right now. Right now, yeah. yeah, yeah. I guess Lila only gone. had kind of one fight scene in this movie. I thought she had more. No, she, she has there the was one. The, uh... She has the one fight scene. I don't know. I guess there's she like chase scene earlier. Cops. Yeah, yeah but that wasn't really a fight scene. Yeah. Nah, well, like again, I don't want to say back then, but like you know, classic action movies only ever had like one type of every kind of action sequence you'd have in a movie. You have they like the, the chase. chase scene. You have like the kung fu fight scene. You know, <laughs> you have like the shootout scene. Yeah. Nowadays, they just they'll you don't ever know. They'll just make whatever they want. Yeah. Oh, Ruby Rod. Oh, oh, oh no. But the sun's over there. How is there a shadow on... Oh, whatever. <laughs> Stop it with you and your logic. <laughs> Why doesn't she know how to work the, the stones? She was, like, dead for a while. I think mine is broken. What are you broken. talking about? <laughs> Chris, whatever his face? Is that, I don't know, think she... No, I'm sorry, that's a stupid joke. Uh, we'll stop minutes. till I'm ahead. How bug-eyed Chris Tucker always looks. Yeah. It moved. I'm scared. <laughs> Everybody get in the shot. Yeah. <laughs> Good framing. I love how you can tell he's looking past the thing because he couldn't put anything there. <laughs> <laughs> At least he didn't have to pee on it. <laughs> that would have been a lot more fun. <laughs> Could have just spit. <laughs> wouldn't it, wouldn't it have been funny if that was because he gets to the one with the fire or whatever, and like it's like oh his matches they never light, you know. What if it was the water one and he was like, no one here needs to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and that's and like the big dramatic it? point. And why can't they open up their little, like, why can't they break open their little snow globe thingies, or their, their light globes? Yeah. Lost, in, Lost in Paradise matches? Well, he had them at the beginning. Yeah, he had them at the beginning. But it looks like there's sm- Lost in Paradise on it. Maybe because it's... I mean, like, I never saw it while we were watching this, but isn't there, like, a plot point where, like, the matches just suck? He only had three of them. He used one of them early. He used, like, He's two of them early. He's smoking, isn't he? Yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he doesn't, he doesn't have any, that many matches on him. You could have just lit it closer yeah, to the damn so thing, you idiot. That. See, if this is Toy Story, then the match would have went out. <laughs> and they would have all died, because that's <laughs> what happens in Toy Story. <coughs> Aw, <Aww>. spoiler. <laughs> Triangle. Blue, even though blue, nothing else blue. in the room was blue before. It's com- uh, You're right. <laughs> it's complementing their yellow. I know, but now it's red. Now it's red. What? We know what it's the... It's the stones. It's the stone. Oh, right. Purple. I'm going out, I'm going out in style. It's a very colorful movie, actually. I believe it was based on... I can't remember if it was based on comics or one of the production people were made comics of it. Something like... There's something what's so colorful it's because like, of... It's yellow. It's a yeah. comic design. Yeah. Well, this, yeah well, this, is a, this is a adaptation? I don't know if it's an. I don't think it's an adaptation, but it had something to do with comics in the production or based on this IP. I don't. My professor mentioned something about it back in college. Well, I mean, like, <coughs> um, you know, I mean, look, when I draw backgrounds, I usually pick one color to stick with or whatever I, or I used to anyway. But that's something you rarely see in movies is like, you know, like where you just keep shifting from background to background, just set to set, where they're all just like one color, and it stands out really obviously. You don't, you don't watch enough movies, then. 
I'm gonna tell you that right now. I watch a lot of TV <laughs> movies. So I'll say that. <laughs> That's what I mean. Is like you know movies that everybody watches, not movies that Mark watches in his snooty filmmaking class. I'm just saying. Hey. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm just. <laughs> so, oh no. Six. What happened to seven? Just kidding. <laughs> You know that there was a video game based on this yes. called called New York Race, and it was based on like the flying cars and beginning of the movie. Was really? that? Was, I know there's a Fifth Element game. I don't know. I've never. I was seen... right. The Fifth Element was love, it was <laughs> friendship. I guessed it from the beginning. It was her orange hair. Casey wins again. <laughs> oh, she doesn't have orange hair anymore. Yes, yeah, she does. Well, she it got better. <laughs> Everyone's holding their little lightsabers all at the same angle there. <laughs> Did you notice that? They're heavy. <laughs> so now they have to come back in like another like 5,000 years. That's not very far. Miles. Yeah. Yeah, really. Should that be in the atmosphere? <laughs> I think so. Like that's a, it's suggesting that they have a second moon. It's twelve thousand miles in diameter, but I don't think that's the diameter of the moon. <laughs> <laughs> you saved you save the world, dude. <laughs> Nucleo Lab. Oh, this guy again. That guy was in Alien Resurrection. That's was he? Right, I like how his head is shaved around the back. It is, yeah. It could be like cybernetic implants or something. Maybe he wasn't. He looked familiar for a second. He he just looks creepy looking. And I was thinking French, and I think a lot of French people were in Alien Resurrection. (laughs) Oh, that's right. They're in there having. They're doing the business. They're um. They're uh playing with the play doh. And stuff. Patrick Swayze clay pot thingy. That's not going to be enough time. (laughs) (coughs) Federation. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, she, she needs to have the Petunia accent. (laughs) <laughs> what are they doing in there? I don't understand. They're, prob- they're probably. What are they you know, doing? Playing, What's I going on? I, I think oh god! Records. Oh my god! Oh no! Oh no! Oh god! Oh no! I didn't want to see this at all. So now this is the director directing his wife to get kissed by Bruce Willis. Hey, it's Bruce Willis. That's true. Uh, <laughs> and that's Fifth Elements. Oh, look, Stargate's coming up next. I better <laughs> stop you. that from happening. Running Ex- Man is coming up next. Four minutes of credits. So, Mark, why do you love this movie so much? Everything about it is great. What complaints did you have about that movie? Uh, no, Tell me. I, 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 it, no, I <laughs> no, like this it, movie, but it, it, but it is a very, I yeah. think it's very kind of inconsistent. Well, so That's like what I think it gives it its unique feel. It's dynamic. It's funny. The, the action at some points is cheesy, but for some, for for you, you love like '80s cheesy stuff, don't you? Oh yeah, yeah. And for me, I don't know. It's just it's visually interesting. The the dialogue is well written, especially the cross cutting dialogue. Yeah. Um, the style, while over all over the place at times, fits together. It all seamlessly goes together. This is a movie that if I ever see on TV, I will just sit down and watch. Even though I own the movie, it's just I, um, I, I love it. I just enjoy watching it. I like this movie a lot. I haven't seen it in a long time, but you know, like watching the whole way through <laughs> again, it's like you're right. It jumps all over the place, but somehow, like I don't want to just repeat what Mark said because I don't think it fits honestly. But somehow, I find that more enjoyable about it. Like I can just feel the 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 people behind the movie just going like, you know what? I don't care. Let's just have this happen now. And, it, and it's and it's a lot of fun. It's the kind of movie that I would go to the theater and watch and just be like, like having a blast the whole way through because it's so silly and, and like the action's pretty good in it and stuff, you know, and they just made what they wanted to make. And uh, yeah, this was a blast to see in the theater. I saw it when it came out of the theater. I had to be like 
less it was came out in 96 97 so it had to be like 9 or 10 when it came out um it's it was just a lot of fun and it it's also it builds this little universe that works with this world it's not something that that needs a lot of explaining it's all, all these little things in the background that you pick up and it builds this world that you understand yeah the world building yeah, in yeah. this is is top notch honestly you, you don't hard, see a lot yeah. of that in and it movies. does it without needing like this all this extra <coughs> excuse me expanded universe stuff it does it in this contained two-hour movie I mean, I feel like a lot of movies would take the time to actually go and explain, like, everything you're seeing going on. Like, this is a magnetic yeah. coffee pot. This is a this. My beds go here. Like, they they would do that because they feel that they have to, like, you know, explain, yeah. all, you know, like, like I don't know. I don't want to say – I, I it, don't want to say modern audiences. but Yeah, it, go, it goes in the detail to explain it rather than this stuff. They show it once they as just have perfect it there. little yeah. foreshadowing. They don't really perfect. care if you see it or not. You know, yeah. they, they just – yeah. Well, well, so Joseph, um, what are your thoughts on the movie? Me and Mark have, have gone quite a bit about it. Oh, like I said, yeah. I like this movie, and I think it's pretty unique. Um, I guess I don't have, I don't, I don't put it up there with some of my favorite movies. Mm. Like, uh, was, oh. around the same time, I would say like Armageddon is one that resonated with me more. Yeah, um, and I would punch you in the face if you ever told it to me in my. We face. should watch Armageddon. First came out a couple of years after this one. <laughs> I will, if you want to watch Armageddon next, I will sit through that and watch it. I don't it. know. We should do Bruce Willis. <laughs> oh, yes, Bruce Willis too. <laughs> Die Hard. I can explain all the uses of lines in that movie. We could go back and forth on what movies that Mark hates and Joseph likes. <laughs> it was Bruce Willis. And never doing a movie that uh, Casey likes because they're all Pixar movies. Oh, pff, whatever. Or or they're, or they're Nintendo 64 games. <laughs> Oh, we movies. should watch Super Mario Brothers the movie. Yeah, I don't, I don't have that. <laughs> well, anyways, we'll get to that. I want to watch Avengers. We could do that. I like that movie. Ninety-seven, Galmont, All Whites Revere. Names of characters. Oh, Armageddon was like a year after this. Animals used in this film were no no way mistreated, except for the little elephant. <laughs> well, anyways, that was Fifth Element. So yeah, Columbia Pictures. If you like it, if you hate it. That's what we think about it. We all loved it, so we hope you love it too. Or you're not allowed on our channel anymore. No, no, that's not true. <laughs> yeah, hell, everybody didn't like it. Wouldn't be watching it through this whole thing anyway. But hey, thanks everybody. We hope you hope you enjoyed the movie and the commentary. And, and uh, like, like, comment, and subscribe because this is going on YouTube. Right? Is it? It, it so. is. Yes. Are we on YouTube right now? Right now. Yes. Bye, Casey, everybody. once again. Yeah. <laughs>